Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I thought I'd make a quick video here. Uh, I haven't been posting a lot recently. Um, I tend to, to uh, want to kind of make things uh, higher quality and, and things like that, um, and I think it's, it's slowing me down too much. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep posting uh, some kind of quick videos uh, showcasing stuff I'm working on, um, and then, you know, maybe add some more polish as I go along. Uh, but for, for example, this video I'm just shooting on a Logitech web camera. Uh, versus uh, trying to do uh, the higher quality iPhone camera um, and worry about porting videos back and forth, things like that. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I've already done some of the editing, so I know there's a, a few things that I uh, misspoke on, uh, you know, what a certain connector was called uh, or things like that. I'll try to put some corrections in there. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to share uh, some things that I found, um, as well as uh, I might do a quick look at the uh, iMac. You can see in the background here, it's uh, the uh, G4 iMac uh, flat panel from, uh, I believe, 2002 uh, that I recently picked up uh, from a local uh, Facebook marketplace find. So uh, let's get started. All right, first up, we've got uh, Quake 4, the uh, PC edition. Uh, it's a little worse for wear. There's some uh, cracking on the case, but uh, I thought this was a pretty cool one to pick up. It's a uh, four disc version. CD, so we've got uh, all four discs, look pretty good quality, no scratches on the discs, and we've got the manual. So I'll be uh, interested in trying that one out, this is one I haven't actually played, so uh, that should be fun. And next up I have a uh, IO Gear uh, KVM switch, uh, which allows PS2 uh, keyboard and mouse and uh, VGA to be uh, switched between two PCs. Usually these are pretty handy if you've got a, uh, couple, a couple of retro systems. Uh, so grab that. And looks like these might even be... No, they're hardwired in. Uh, but again, a pretty, uh, pretty handy pickup there. So next I've got a uh, assortment of uh, video game related cabling that I grabbed. Uh, we've got a, a Wii um, AV out cable here. Uh, to uh, composite and uh, and the uh, the audio jacks. Uh, I usually grab these if I fail uh, see them. Um, these are a couple of uh, Xbox 360 um, adapters. Uh, this one is just to uh, composite, so like that and uh, Xbox 360 to uh, VGA uh, with the audio breakouts as well. So grab that. And then uh, this one, I'm actually not sure yet, i got to look it up. Um, but it is a Microsoft uh, power adapter. It's got the, the two-prong uh, IEC connection on this side. And then this interesting uh, double barrel connector on the, uh, the other side. Um, I assume it's for one of the Xbox consoles. Um, I just have the 360, so I'm not familiar with the, uh, the newer ones, but maybe it's for uh, some other... Uh, Microsoft accessory, so I'll have to look that up. Next up, uh, I've got just kind of uh, various assortment of cables. Um, generally, I kind of limit it to uh, things that I don't have too many of um, already, but uh, I had some friends looking for, for various cabling. Um, so we've got some uh, HDMI, just standard HDMI cabling. Uh, grab those. Uh, some RCA. Uh, for, you know, old consoles, uh, old computer systems, a uh, new in the bag um, composite um, with the, uh, the three video plugs and the, uh, the two audio with a fairly nice thick cabling. So we grab that. Uh, just a simple audio RCA cable. Um, I grabbed some of these uh, more unique uh, USB uh, plugs when we'll see them. Because uh, you never know when you're going to come across a, uh, a device that uses uh, one of those newer um, or uh, kind of more unique USB connections. Um, and then generally if I see any uh, Apple cabling, I will grab that. So this is the old 30-pin uh, iPod connector. Next up we have Willow uh, on uh, VHS. Uh, grab this just because it's one I don't have and it's kind of one of those classic uh, 80s movies. Um, so I thought I would pick that one up. Uh, I got a, a couple of um, retro 
PC connectors. Uh, so we've got a uh, parallel to serial connector, um, which should come in handy. So we've got that. And then I got a uh, VGA uh, connector, but in, uh, in beige for uh, a little more matching setup uh, for a 46 or, or uh, older setup. Got the uh, Sony remote here. A, uh, looks like it's for a um, receiver or audio gear of some sort. Uh, sorry for the exposure on this camera. Um, is the RMAAU002. Um, but uh, Sony remotes can be pretty handy um, and hard to come by, so I went ahead and grabbed this one. And next up we've got these uh, pretty cool Cambridge Soundworks uh, PC speakers. Um, there's a little bit of a scuff up here, I should be able to clean that off. Um, but I thought this was a pretty cool complete setup and uh, in pretty pretty good shape overall. Um, you don't often come across the, uh, the older uh, PC speakers that have a uh, subwoofer included, so I thought that was a pretty cool find. Uh, and then I grabbed the, uh, this Cooler Master. Uh, 550, the uh, what was it, RS 550 PC AR N1. Um, probably not the greatest power supply, but uh, always nice to have a spare around. So I uh, went ahead and picked that one up. Uh, and these don't fit in the frame roll well, but uh, I got some. Uh, generally, I'll pick up uh, empty jewel cases if they have them. Um, just because uh, often I'll run across uh, loose discs, and it's nice to be able to uh, put them in a good protective case uh, to keep them safe. And then also, I use these uh, Sterilite boxes uh, for storage, um, and whenever I come across the um, shoebox size, not the greatest camera angle here with my setup, um, but uh, the ones with the lids, I'll grab those because uh, these are often, uh, you know, four to five dollars on uh, uh, Amazon or Target new, and uh, at the uh, the Google bins, they're you know probably fifty cents or less each. Actually, I think these were twenty five cents. Next up, we've got the uh, Microsoft Sight Wonder uh, foot pedals. Um, they just use a uh, foam jack style connection here. Um, I don't actually have the wheel that goes with these, but uh, I have been looking for one and. Uh, seeing this loose and uh, it's sold as electronic item so uh, it's fairly cheap and uh, good to pick it up when you see it. Next up I grabbed a uh, couple of uh, gaming keyboards. Uh, they were missing some of the keys uh, but they're standard uh, key switches that you can switch out. Um, in fact I looked uh, for replacement sets for this and the other one that I've gotten um, and the, you can buy a whole new key set for like five, five to ten bucks. Uh, depending on, on your uh, needs, um, and they are the, uh, the light-up ones um, with the, the pass-through uh, keys. Uh, this one has a pretty cool uh, dial on it, um, and a uh, USB connector here for a mouse or a flash drive, uh, so that was pretty cool. And um, yeah, need some cleanup, but it uh, will be a, a, a fun one to uh, check out. And then we have the uh, Logitech G710 Plus. Uh, this one's kind of gross because it's dirty, but I'm just showing things uh, kind of as they are as I uh, picked them up. Uh, again, this one has the uh, volume slider. Uh, missing most of the keys, but uh, again, uh, should be pretty easy to uh, order up a key set um, for these. Uh, but nice mechanical key switches and uh, a pretty cool find. And then we have this uh, pretty cool Sony VAIO keyboard. Uh, I thought this was pretty unique, uh, so I grabbed it. It's got this uh, cover that actually comes down into a wrist rest. Um, it is wireless. I didn't find um, a dongle for it, so I'm hoping it's Bluetooth. Um, but if not, uh, even just as a, a collection piece, I think it's pretty cool. And um, has a uh, LCD screen here, so it'll be interesting to see what functionality that has. Um, but yeah, uh, the model number on this is the uh, uh, VGP WK B5US. So that 
that is the Sony Vio keyboard. And then the final item uh, for today was the uh, Microsoft Natural Keyboard uh, 4000. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite keyboards. Uh, actually I actually have, I think it's my fourth one. Um, and uh, I'm currently using one, my wife is using one, and I have uh, another spare, and this will be a, a third spare. Uh, but I, I enjoy the, the curved layout. And uh, this one I think maybe has never been used, it still has the uh, label over the connector. Looks in really good shape outside of uh, some dust and uh, cleaning that will be needed. But uh, again, a pretty, uh, pretty cool find to add to the, uh, the collection. And we're on the uh, mobile cam now. So we can uh, take a quick look at the iMac. This is the uh, G4 iMac, released in uh, 2002, and the uh, 800 megahertz model specifically. Uh, they only made uh, this form factor of the iMac for about uh, two years, I believe, um, maybe even less than that, uh, mainly due to the monitor size. Um, so they have this uh, very nice swivel arm. Um, where you can set the monitor at uh, any height and uh, has tilt as well and rotation. Uh, so really the only iMac uh, or any computer I can think of that has uh, that level of um, uh, adjustment for the uh, display uh, built into the system. Uh, you can sort of get that these days with the, uh, some of the uh, monitor mount arms. Um, this isn't the uh, original uh, keyboard. It would have been a, a white version of this. Uh, with the white mouse. Uh, I'm just using these for, for testing, uh, but it's all uh, all functional. Uh, 768 megs of RAM built in currently, and uh, I'd have uh, installed an SSD, so a 60 gig SSD installed, and uh, I've got uh, OS X 10.4 installed. So that was a quick run through of the uh, pickups I've had recently, um, and uh, things that I'll be uh, sort of taking a look at in detail, and uh, integrating into my uh, PC collection. I uh, hope you enjoyed having a look at it and uh, thanks for watching.